Daylight brought with it scenes of utter devastation. Homes and businesses, entire neighborhoods, reduced to nothing but rubble. As Gaza was plunged into darkness, Israel says this is an intelligence-led operation, but its priority is the defense of the country and its people. Many resources are invested in gathering intelligence, in trying to locate the enemy separately from civilian population, in evacuating the civilian population from the center of the battle, in warning citizens, in monitoring humanitarian situation. But Israel will defend its people and do whatever it takes with an iron fist to change the reality. But Israel's need to destroy Hamas comes with a heavy price. Innocent citizens are dying, and among them, children. The health minister in Gaza says more than 400 children have been killed by Israeli bombs so far. The International Committee of the Red Cross warns that Gaza's hospitals risk turning into morgues as they lose power and rely completely on generators. But the fuel to run these is about to run out too. Currently, we, uh, in Shifa, there are over 50 patients who need to go to the operating rooms, but just don't have any operating space available for them to go. And that gets worse as your capacity to operate on patients decreases to the point where you can no longer provide that service. And so you just watch people uh, die in front of your eyes. Gaza is under an Israeli siege, completely sealed off. Its residents have no power. Clean water and fuel is running out, and medical supplies are dangerously low. Its people have nowhere to go. Israel warns the blockade will stay until all Israeli hostages held by Hamas are released unharmed. There are 50 people in the house without any food, drink, water or electricity. I don't know how we'll provide food for our children. Israeli troops have been sent to settlements along the northern border. For now, they're carrying out patrols and enforcing roadblocks. But the move is widely being seen as preparation for a major ground offensive. The US Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, is now in Tel Aviv to meet Benjamin Netanyahu to discuss the crisis. Hamas is ISIS, and just as ISIS was crushed so too will Hamas be crushed. The message that I bring to Israel is this. You may be strong enough on your own to defend yourself, but as long as America exists, you will never ever have to. We will always be there by your side. Blinken will hear from Israeli officials about the need to defend their citizens, but nothing will move him as much as the raw testimony from survivors and victims of the Hamas attack. First priority are our friends and family that are now in Gaza. Thank you very much. We're, we're, think, really. we're thinking of them and trying to do everything we can. I know. We want to bring them home. Thank you so much. There will be no let up in the Israeli retaliation against Hamas. And that can only mean more bloodshed and suffering in the days to come. Ashish Joshi, Sky News.